Hey guys, if you're like me, you've been thirsting for some TBC information and you're really sad that Wowhead hasn't put up their TBC database yet. I'm sure it's coming and I have a feeling that they're probably waiting for the beta to come out before they put up their version of their database just to get all the phases and everything right. I, I don't know, but in the meantime, there's a lot of databases that have been put together by private servers in the private server community and we can use those for looking up TBC information in the meantime. I found these through some simple Google searches and if you'll notice, Wowhead BC database, let's go here. Page not found. So. I don't know if this is a placeholder or if they had something up and then they took it down, but it's not there right now. So let's take a look at four different databases that are mainly used for TBC private servers. The first one is going to be uh, tbcdb.com and this database is all right. Um, the main difference between all of these databases is just kind of how the information is organized. So here you see, I pulled up the Primal Moon Cloth Robe just to kind of show you the information that's here. They have um, a tools section with talent calculators. So this is pretty useful information that you can mess around with um, selecting your talent trees as we go into the pre-patch and into BC. Let's see what they have for NPCs. Oh, they show you where everything is. This is good information. I'll fire. Okay, so you can find this critter out here. All right, let's move on to the next database. This one is tbc-twinhead.twinstar.cz. And this database has been around a long time. When I was dabbling on one of the TBC private servers back in 2017, this was around and I would, I remember using this database pretty frequently. Their information is organized pretty well, I would say. And they also have different eras of databases for a while. Let's see, Let's see what they have for tools. They also have a talent calculator. We'll see if it loads. <laughs> All right, here we go. So here's the TBC talent calculators. Pretty good. Looks like everything works. Cool beans. Okay. So let's move on to our third database. And that one is db.endless.gg. I want to say this this group of people recently launched a new TBC endless server. I haven't played it, so I could be wrong about that. Um, again, like I like the way that the database is organized. It's pretty easy to follow. Let's see, NPCs, objects. I don't see like a talent calculator or anything on here, but I do like how. All this information is organized. Let's take a look at trinkets. Okay, this is good information. Like it tells you all on one page where you get it from, what the item slot is. They have a eye level for these things. Kind of drives me a little bit nuts when you have to click into an item to see where it drops. And even worse when you have to read the comments to see where it drops doesn't look like there is a comment section on this database. Some of the other databases do have comment sections. Let's see. Let's go back to Twinhead and we'll also look up this same trinket. Memento of Toronto. Okay. Drop by Illidan. Yep. They do have a section for comments, but no information. I found a lot of these um, Databases, they either import old comments from sites like ThoughtBot. Like, if you're an old gamer like me, you know what ThoughtBot is. <laughs> but 
but they'll have some information like that available sometimes, but a lot of the times no one really adds additional comments to these databases. All right, so we're going to go to our fourth database, and that is tbccavernsoftime.com. I probably wouldn't use this database unless you weren't able to get the other ones to work. The values on the gear seem to be just a teeny bit off. And by that, I mean, like, if you're, if you're specifically looking and comparing gear, it's probably going to be a little bit different when TBC Classic goes live. The uh, Primal Moon Cloth chest, for example, has 121 healing, which is kind of funny because when you mouse over it, it has the correct amount. Very interesting. But for some reason in the text, it does not. Okay. And... Now we're going to look at these four databases and compare the way that they have professions set up. This is mainly why I like to go and look at these databases. If I'm trying to figure out what I want to craft and maybe make a plan for myself for like doing jewel crafting, for example. So here we have TBC database. We went to, um, we found professions under spells, which I think's kind of hidden a little bit in there, but there it is. Um, if you're looking for a profession, just general stuff, go under spells first. What I like about this list of items is you have each thing that's crafted. They have what it takes to craft the items, and they also have what level of skill you can learn the craft at, and also what level it turns green, what ter level it turns gray. So if you're planning out what you want to use for leveling up one of your professions past 300, this is a good resource right here. Okay, moving on to the TBC Twin Head site. For jewel crafting, it's under database, items, trade goods, jewel crafting. It's, I haven't really been able to see any other place that has... Um, Oh, maybe under spells. Here, let's check this one out. Oh, here we go. So again, this is database, spells, professions, jewel crafting. Again, very similar information. Um, you get the items you can craft, what it takes, and at what level you can learn, and at what level you stop getting skill ups for these crafted items. All right, let's move on to the TBC Caverns of Time. So we went to database spells, professions, jewel crafting. And this list, while they show what you can craft and the materials that are needed, they don't show the skill up ranges. So I probably wouldn't use this database for this particular information. And last we have um, db.endless.gg. I really like how their database is set up with this information. It's a little bit more user friendly. So you go under database and they actually have a profession and skills section and you can find your jewel crafting there. And again, they have like all the information that we're looking for. They have the item you can craft, the materials that are needed and what levels you learn it at, and when you stop getting skill ups from the items. This is the information that we like to see when we're looking at profession stuff. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you found this information helpful. Um, hopefully this video will be irrelevant pretty soon because I'm really hoping that Wowhead will put out a TBC section with their own database information. I think they do a really great job of maintaining databases and there's just a lot more um, up-to-date information on there and I hope it's coming soon. <laughs> if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up on this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!